Hi everyone, creating a short video on how to complete lab number 18, New York State Drainage. Uh, relatively simple. So you're gonna need reference table pages two and three, which you could find attached to uh, the third and fourth slide here. So you can use those. It says here on the accompanying New York State River System map, find and label the following rivers bodies of water. Hudson River is the first one. Okay, so let's find the Hudson River. I'm going to go to slide number four, which is ESRT page three. And if you notice right here, it says Hudson River. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare this Hudson River to where the Hudson River would be on this map. All right, so let's label them. So I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to grab my text box tool, draw a box, and I'm going to write Hudson River. Now, just to make things a little bit more visible, I'm going to change the color to red, make it bold, and I'm going to increase the size a bit. Now, you notice you can move this box around. I'm going to grab this little handle here, and I'm going to rotate it. And then I'm going to move it so that it's directly over the Hudson River. Now that I've done that, I want to cross off Hudson River. I'm gonna grab my line tool, and I'm gonna draw a line right across the word Hudson River so I know I've completed it. In fact, I'm gonna make this one red also, and I'm gonna increase the weight of the line and make it a little bit darker. Part of the challenge of this lab is just knowing how to use uh, the Google line drawing tools and the drawing tools. Okay, so you'll do the same thing for the rest of these, like the Mohawk River, the Susquehanna. I'll do the Mohawk with you as well. So let's find the Mohawk on here. You can see where it says Mohawk River, and it attaches to the Hudson River. Okay, so let's draw in, or let's label the Mohawk River. Then to make your life easier, instead of having to keep making text boxes, what you could do is copy, Hudson River by hitting Control C and then Control V. And then you can see created a, a copy. Now I can rotate this one as well. I'm gonna line it up with where the Mohawk River is. And write it in there. Okay, great. So now I have two rivers down. I've got the Mohawk River and the Hudson River. I'm gonna do the same thing as before. I'm gonna select that line. I'm gonna copy it, control C, paste it, control V, and cross off Mohawk River as well. Helps keep me uh, keep track of what I'm doing. All right, so you'll do all the rest of those, Susquehanna, Delaware, Genesee, St. Lawrence, Erie, Ontario, and Champlain. Now for number two, it says, use a colored pencil to trace the Hudson River and all the tributaries to it. So let's use the scribble tool to trace the Hudson River. Okay, and all the tributaries to it. So let's find the scribble tool. Scribble tool is underneath the line tool. So if you click this drop down here, you can go to where it says scribble. And we're going to draw a line that goes up the Hudson all the way basically to the Adirondack Mountains. Okay. Now that line's a little bit difficult to see, so let's change the color of it. I'm gonna go with a light blue this time. Doesn't matter what color you pick. I'm gonna change the weight of my line. I'm gonna make it three point to make it a little bit easier to see. Okay. And now I have to draw my tributaries. So I'm gonna go back to my scribble tool and I'll have one go down the Mohawk River and attach to the Hudson. Because remember, the Mohawk River is a tributary. Tributaries are rivers that connect to the larger river. And I'll just fill in all the smaller tributaries that made up to it. You got to keep going back to the scribble tool. Each time you want to draw one of these little lines. And you don't have to drive yourself nuts getting every single little tiny tributary, but I think that looks pretty good.
So that was number two. Number three says, use another color to trace all the, the rivers and tributaries that ultimately flow into the Great Lake system. That is Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, and St. Lawrence. Using that same color, lightly shade in the two Great Lakes. So if we go to this map here, we can see this is Lake Erie, Lake Ontario. This is St. Lawrence River. And we want to draw, draw all the tributaries that flow into these bodies. So what tributaries are they? Well, let's grab our scribble tool once again. And this would be one of those tributaries because it flows into the St. Lawrence. I'm going to change the color on this one. Now I want a different color than the blue, so I'm going to go with red. Again, we want to make the line thickness three point. And then we can come around and fill all these in. Once again, don't drive yourself nuts. Don't do every single tiny little line on there. Just get the bulk of them. Okay. So you would finish the rest of all these that flow into those bodies. I'm not going to do those now. Now, it also asks, if you go here, for you to use that same color, lightly shade in the area of the two Great Lakes. So shading is a little bit difficult with Google Drawing Tools. So the only thing I could really recommend is that you grab a shape, like for example, a rectangle, and you can draw a box over the lake. Now you notice that box is not the right color and I can't see through it. So if you want to change that, you can make a custom color. We said it was red. And then you can reduce the transparency. By reducing the transparency, you make it see-through. Not bad, right? And then you can adjust it however you want. Remember to copy and paste so you can select it, hit Control C, Control V. And now you have another copy, exactly the same. And I want to make it so that it covers up just that part of the lake. Again, don't drive yourself nuts. Just get it close enough. So now we have the two lakes highlighted. If you want to label them, so the top one is Lake Ontario, you could just click on this box and type in Lake Ontario. All right. So I hope this was helpful. Um, you're going to follow in the rest by doing the same thing with a different color for each of the different areas. You have three questions that you need to answer. The total time that this should take would be no more than about one hour to complete this lab. Considering that's the fact um, today, this is March 16th, you're going to use the rest of this period to work on that. And then all period on March 17th, you will be working on uh, this as well to wrap this, this lab up. I will have all his hours available. All right, hope this was helpful. See you soon.